invite uh, Raghu Indra and uh, Nitendra who are from between and will be covering testing big data by recommendation engine. Uh, data generator. A brief introduction about yourselves and maybe you can you know, cover the topic. Thank you. Uh, any requests to Mike? So, I am from Intune. I am working as quality engineer. Uh, this is my colleague Nitendra. Hello. Uh, Hello. Today, so, today we are going to uh, talk about the topic. How to test the recommendation engine smartly. Uh, obviously, we wanted to give the high level picture of the approach we have taken to do the recommendation engine testing. Uh, before I jump into the topic, let me tell you what is recommendation engine. Recommendation engine is a system where, where it ranks or recommends a particular entity based on certain attributes. To give an example, assume that actually. Uh, Let's take an example of Flipkart uh, or Amazon. You are searching or you are buying a book. It will also be the list of recommended books for you. Uh, that comes based on some attributes. Either it might be based on the author name or the type of book you are searching. Uh, it, it might be belonging to some romance category, fiction category, or some beta thriller. So how it ranks those systems, how, how it ranks a particular item, we are going to look at that. How we are going to test that one. Okay, let's look at the tool which we have developed to solve this problem. Uh, the tool name is RedG, it stands for Recommendation Engine Data Generator. Uh, basically, we have used uh, Java to develop this tool. What it helps is, uh, it generates a set of test data based on the attribute which is used by the algorithm. Basically, for each and every recommendation system, you have an algorithm using which it ranks a particular item. right? So we will basically taking those attributes as an input, we are making that as a configurable and uh, if the, the reason why we are making it as configurable is the recommendation engine system, uh, it, 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 it evolves, it changes over a period of time. If for each and every deployment, you will see some kind of improvement over there. So uh, assume that actually uh, you are searching for a book, you are chosen from India you will get different recommended list of books. When you, you are the same person, you are searching for the book, when you are in the US, you should be getting different kind of books recommended for you. So basically, assume that you are going to add a new attributes to the recommendation system, using which you are going to rank the particular item. So the nature of the recommendation system is, it's going to change over the period of time to improvise and to have the better recommendation. So using this tool, we are making all the attributes as configurable uh, such that actually if there is any change in the algorithm, it can be easily adopted. Yes, yes. Okay, let's look at what are the challenges and pain points in testing the recommendation engine. Uh, the first and foremost thing is actually how to verify the data analytics part or basically the accuracy of the recommendation. When I say accuracy here, it is not the accuracy uh, for the end user or how relevant the particular recommended item is. Instead of that, it's how accurate as per the algorithm. So for a tester, the basis, the recommendation system algorithm, how we are going to verify how accurate as per the algorithm implementation. And second thing is actually we wanted to quickly generate the set of data. Assume that actually you are Assume that actually you are going to have more than 5 parameters using which your ranking system is going to work. Then you will end up creating a lot of data for you. So with the automated system is the only way for you to scale and generate the set of data which is required for you to see. So using this, this is one of the pain points we have. And testbed preparation. Testbed preparation is completely different because the normal uh, testing approach is which involves installing certain softwares or configuring your app server, web server or a DB in certain mode and you will do the test. In some cases, you will end up adding some bulk amount of records uh, without, without any uh, logic attached to it. You will just say that 1,200 records need to be there to perform this testing. Whereas in case of recommendation engine, you need to insert the records or populate the record based on the algorithms implementation or the attributes attached to the implementation. Yeah, the another thing is as I mentioned before, 
algorithm keeps on changing, so you need to make sure that tool which you develop also scales as and when the algorithm changes. Yeah, so what does this tool do? So basically this tool generates the data set based on the inputs you are giving to the tool. Uh, which is nothing but the attributes and the C data. We are going to look at how the C data configuration file looks like uh, in the latest slides. How it works. So basically, you have two configuration files. You will specify all the parameters, attributes which influences your ranking in one particular file and your C data where you specify this is the book, I have this is the author and, and different attributes tied up to it. A, six and the location from where you are searching and such like that. And the output of the tool right now uh, for us actually is the JSON. We are using Elasticsearch as a data source which is used by the recommendation engine to mine the data and rank it. And the output could be in any format. If you are directly running against the DB, the output can be in directly the SQL query system. Let's look at the pictorial representation of how the tool works. This is a recommendation engine. Uh, so you, you will have an algorithm behind recommendation engine. So the first step is actually we need to interpret the algorithm and understand how it works and then find out the attributes which influences this. Uh, it could be age, sex, location, it can be different things. Uh, so and then uh, form your seed, seed file which, which will have all the data pertaining to your items. It could be the author name and the book name and such like that. So, so these two are given as an input to the data generator tool which take this as an input and generates output in the form of JSON for us. Uh, the, JSON, the format could be anything uh, whatever your data source is for the recommendation engine. So the data, the JSON format is given as an input to Elasticsearch, and then it is fed into a, a recommendation engine. So we have a validator also as part of this tool. What it does is it, it simulates the end user behavior by searching particular book or particular item. And that, that is something called as input property. It could be based on your buying history or from where you search and what is the book you are currently looking. At. Based on which it's going to give the response, this response is going to be tied up with the data which you populate. So we are going to verify how these items are ranked. Yeah, now we are going to look at the uh, format how the C file and configuration file looks. Uh, Ritendra is going to talk about that. Yeah, so the good word is like our uh, tool uses two files. One for configuration and one for the data format. So this configuration files are designed to control the flag to uh, to control the flag to, uh, to to configure the flag to control the variation in data according to different attributes for each entity. So in the slide you can easily see uh, we have listed some of the attributes like city, state, country, age, and and attribute and entities like books, movies depends on that. So if you want to test your recommendation algorithm against a data set which varies on attributes, you just need to plug it or you just need to turn the, turn the flag yes or no. And depending on the yes or no, uh, the following attribute will be taken into the account to create a test set database. So this is how uh, the C data format looks like. This forms the basis for our test cases. Uh, this is the file uh, which the test tool generate test data to tool generator will be looking for creating the test set. So if you see over here, uh, we have listed down the attributes and there and we have specified different uh, variation in the values. So what does the recommendation engine usually does? It's observe the variation in the data, clusters them together, and according to the mass profile, it gives you suggestions. So if someone from India uh, with an age of 26 uh, logging into your account, although he, I mean, he must be looking for some uh, activity, uh, he must be looking for stuff for some other books like comics, you can also you can also recommend him the law books. 
So uh, this seed data format is basically your test cases against which your algorithm will be running and you will be validating your uh, validating your different scenarios. Yeah. So uh, we don't have the uh, idea of giving the demo because actually we didn't get the approval. It's a lengthy process. But if you have any questions, I can take that part. That was the day when we decided that in the year 2014, on 17th and 18th of July, we'll be organizing this conference. That's when most of the sponsors came on board. I would like to thank KPMG, our knowledge partner, for you know continuously helping us in designing the conference as well as in conducting Indian Testing League, which has become a phenomena on its own. One of the you know rarest contests which touches the emotions of the people who are playing. But that's really tough. You know, even in sports, there are not many, com many, con con many uh, you know, matches or many events which touches our emotion. Indian Testing League has emerged as one of those companies. It was uh, great to hear from last year's winner of how it impacted their lives and their career. In fact, one of them got a promotion, which is so good to see. And the other got funding from somebody else, and they started their own company. So that's the kind of confidence contests like Indian Testing League is giving. Warm round of applause to the KPMG team for that. Like to also thank our sponsors, our platinum sponsor, Stara Consulting Services, for you know uh, participating in such a big way and also contributing so that we could run this event. Tech Mahindra and CA Technologies, uh, one of the leaders in DevOps and continuous delivery. They helped us to you know, conceive the CXO event, which is what we are, pla we are planning in the evening uh, after this uh, award ceremony. And to all of you who have, who have been here for, for since last two days, have grown with us and learned with us. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us. What we'll, we'll see in the next 40 minutes is a quick presentation by KPMG on next generation testing survey. So what you filled in yesterday, you are going to see what collectively we, as we Indian testers, feel about uh, the industry, the career, and the roadmap. So that's what Prashant will uh, be coming, and he will be you know, sharing the results. After that, we'll be inviting our speakers and some of the star speakers that we had and you know, honoring them. And then we'll go to the India's top 50 companies soft top 50 software companies with best software testers and will you know honor each of them the criteria for selecting uh, the top 50 company was again indian testing league and it was the testers who participated in the contest they made their companies proud by making their company to come in the top 50 rank so it, it has not it is not the people it's not the process not the technology it's the people who are making the companies proud and we also listed uh, list those 50 companies on our website, and we asked the whole of our testing community, which is over 75,000 plus uh, big, to you know come and vote for your most favorite company to work in software testing. And we'll announce the winner towards the end of the um, uh, award ceremony. So. Uh, having said that, I would like to invite Prashant to come and share with you the, the next generation testing survey. Yes, Prashant. Yeah, good evening, everyone. Uh, just to set the context and adding on to what uh, Nitesh mentioned, you all took the survey uh, yesterday morning, and then we from our side compiled it. Uh, there was a team completely doing this uh, in, in the back end. And uh, we have two contexts. One is we did the same survey last year. Some of you would have been there. And uh, we have the results of 2013 and what has changed to 2014. So that's both of them we'll highlight. I think uh, 
in, in essence, I think it shows that still software testing in India is a growing area, and uh, it is already expected to grow exponentially. So that's just a summary of what you're going to see. I, I can show you some of this data point as well. So just to move on, uh, I think the, just from a participant's, uh, I'll, okay, just from a participant's profile, uh, I think I might have to. I, has been the testers. We have test leads about 31 percentage and test managers of around uh, 15 percentage. And from a service profile of people who have participated from all of you, about uh, 34 percentage is services, IT services company, and about 43 percentage products. So a lot of products uh, based uh, people have taken this survey. So that's uh, about this one. And we also ask this question, how many of you within this group is certified for any of the testing related? And that's good data actually, almost like 57 percent of you are certified in so one of the other certificate, IST, QB, or uh, any of the other ones, actually. So that's uh, uh, the first one. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, moving on to the primary factor for outsourcing of software testing. So this was the data that we asked. So last year, the data was cost was the primary driver for outsourcing of software testing. And uh, in 2014 also, this is the highest one in terms of cost being. But the other factor why outsourcing happens, quality is slight uh, gone up from 12% to 20%. So a lot of outsourcing to India is happening because of the quality aspect also. It's just not about the cost. Cost still is the primary driver, but quality is also playing a key role. Um, uh, this is a significant question. I think in the panel we had a lot of debate on uh, is it a negative growth for testing or how is testing uh, looking for all of us? And this data 